drive through here. But yeah. Then if we slide into here, it's gonna be tough, right? It's late spring, and remaining snowdrifts on the Cornwall Lookout FSR have impeded our progress. When trying to cross these, things can change quickly from controlled driving to sliding off the road in a dangerous situation to the point of having to self-recover. And that's just the situation that I found myself in on this trip. This is the story till now. What's up guys, hope you had a great weekend. As you can see, we're back home in Canada after the Utah trip. I brought an American back with me. Uh, seems to have been camped out in my driveway. Uh, hey, will you keep it down out there, please? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Aren't you that guy from YouTube? Aren't the story from now? Yeah, we we met like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, are there any good trails around here? Yeah, that way. Cool, I'll get packed up. Cool. Rob and I met at Overland Expo West a few weeks back, and he was eager to bring his 2022 Tundra up to BC and see some of what the area has to offer. It's my first time back out in BC in months, and I'm hoping most of the snow has melted. It's really been a long winter. He's running up on the left, you see him? On your left, the bear cup right here. Hey, little baby bear. Yeah, I gotta get a shot of him trying to climb the tree. That's awesome. All right, so the road will get a little rougher here. Should start opening up here pretty good after a few more bends. Is it a fire lookout at the top here? Yeah. Gotcha, so you think like, the forest service came through and cleared it? It's inactive. There's no more fire lookouts. So it's all on my side. Oh, uh, gotcha. I think I'm gonna do some trimming. Uh, yeah. After clearing some minor deadfall, the trail would open right up for us. There's nothing like getting way up high in the BC mountains. I love it here. Just when we thought we'd be all clear the rest of the way to the fire lookout, we encountered this huge snow drift blocking the road. At first I was thinking like, drive through here, but yeah. then if we slide into here, it's gonna be suck, tough. Right? Well, no challenge, no reward, right? The snow on the higher side was at least a meter deep and on the lower side, a long slide down off the road if mistakes are made. This is the type of situation that doesn't seem bad at first, until you realize you're in trouble. We might need to pull you. Might. Or max tracks. It was going well, until it wasn't. Now I'm kind of sliding off this hill. The plan? Dig out some snow and use max tracks for traction to drive off the edge.
<laughs> and me too, it's deep. <laughs> up to the back of Sean's truck up there and that way I'm gonna use like a combination of me pulling and driving a little bit so hopefully without spinning the tires it doesn't cause me to slip down anymore plus we've got a couple of traction boards down didn't take too long luckily I have some experience with these matters Is that another patch oh no we're good never mind I think we're good, but maybe let me go ahead through this one. Alright, I think, is this a speed and power one? I'm not sure, I'm just gonna try and crawl it. This second snowdrift was lower consequence, but proved to be a bit of a challenge to get across. Get down super low and try and crawl it. Okay. And I'll be ready with the winch. Yeah. Just in case. Uh-oh. Uh, you got cocky. Yeah. arrived at the tower just as the sun was beginning to set after a long day of adventure. All right, we made it to Cornwall Lookout just as the sun was setting. Perfect timing. Got those amazing drone shots. What do you think of this place, Rob? This is just incredible. Was that worth uh, plowing through all that snow? That was worth it, yes. <laughs> those drone shots, I got just good stuff flying. Beautiful out here. Let's go check out the tower, see how, uh, see if it's in good shape after the winter. We're definitely the first uh, 4x4s to make it up here this year. Uh, with the snow, there was no tracks in the snow at all. So I'm sure maybe uh, quads might have made it up here. Oh yeah, it's toasty in here. Our glasses, if you need them. In, just in case you need to see, yeah. you know. Oh, 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 someone had bad eyesight. <laughs>
Good morning, guys. Just woke up. Well, it's not exactly true. <laughs> it's a bit of a rough sleep. It was really windy out here overnight. But you can't beat waking up with 360 degree views. All right, ready to roll? I'm ready. On the way to our next camp, we'll have to backtrack slightly about halfway down the mountain, which means going back through the snow again. Hopefully our tracks from yesterday are enough to make it easy to pass today. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous. All right, we've come down in elevation. We are well out of the snow now. We're gonna be heading up another trail, looping around to a lake to meet up with Teddy. So we're just gonna air up a little bit because we're down at like nine PSI for the snow and that's too low. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Then we're gonna be on our way. This route is going to take us through a beautiful valley and then it's going to loop around into another one ending at a nice lakeside camp spot. That is, if we are able to make it through the loop. Alright, let's do some exploring. Heck yeah. It'd be awesome to have a ranch out here. Oh yeah, I'd love to have some land. Maybe not quite this far away from the nearest grocery store. Yeah, we're uh, pretty out here right now. Looks like there's a pretty decent sized lake up ahead. That's what I figured when you said lake access, so it could be pretty. How, do you, how far is it? Uh, it's a decent distance. I'd say, let's see here, 15 kilometers. Wow, that's quite a ways. That's not too bad. We'll see how the road is up ahead. We were trying to loop around to the lake where we were going to meet up with Teddy and it passes through some private land and uh, there's a gate there now where there didn't used to be a gate. Um, but the ranchers uh, came out and asked us to, to go out a different way so we couldn't go that way. They were polite though. Um, but we found this, uh, this unmarked road that, uh, I don't know where it goes. We're going to find out. Adventure. Bust out the trail gator table. Cook up a quick uh, chicken breast here for lunch. Uh, well, I've just got sandwiches and applesauce. Oh, Nothing that, fancy like you. That sounds good too. I mean, it, it gets me by. We're really lucky that the weather has been holding out for us so far this weekend. This has been one of the worst springs on record for rain in British Columbia, but right now, 
The sun is out, and we've got a road to explore. If our map is correct, we should come out not too far from another route to the lake. the lake that way? guys we just pulled into this lakeside spot pretty nice out here got a nice view overlooking the water we're gonna send a message out to Teddy by a satellite so he can find us and get camp all set up you made it what's up what's up are you vlogging I'm vlogging are you vlogging I'm vlogging what's up Mike yeah. you made it you pretty made skinny it. road eh yeah <laughs> nice and tight yeah so we're gonna we're gonna make Rob try a Caesar yep classic Canadian drink yep it's clamato juice, which is tomato and clam juice mixed clamato. together. I say clamato. Clamato clamatos. <laughs> Shut up. The tomato and clam. Clam. Clam juice, like from. Like a clam. That's why it's called clamato. Clam and tomato, right? That, that's disgusting. <laughs> that sounds no, you're disgusting. wrong. <laughs> Cheers. 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 It's pretty good, isn't it? Who are better? That person? Or this person. <laughs> Definitely this person. It's you for sure, Teddy. Yeah, they should have used me. <laughs> Morning, guys. We're just packing up, getting ready to head out of camp. It's starting to rain a little bit, but it's still not too bad out. A uh, little bit of a journey to get back out of here. Lens is all dirty. Just clean that off. There we go. Mike and Teddy are heading out. Boom, boom. So with an epic adventure under our belts, a great weekend, we headed out from the lake. It was so fun hanging out with Rob for the weekend and seeing if his larger truck could keep up. And it definitely did. This is just the beginning of the high elevation off-road season here in BC. And I'm really excited to see where we end up next. <laughs> 